Black boxes installed in cars are one major privacy concern. In the middle of one of the coldest winters in a century, Congress is trying to sneak through a provision in the farm bill that'll tack a fee on home heating oil. The fee will last for nearly 20 years and then supposedly will siphon the money to the National Oil Heat Research Alliance to develop equipment that is cheaper, more efficient and safer and to encourage consumers to update their equipment. The bill prohibits oil companies from passing the fee on to consumers, but taxpayer advocates say that's a sham. Congress established NORA in 2000 to improve energy efficiency and lower heating bills at no cost to the U.S. taxpayer. But Representative Henry A. Waxman of California said in the past, NORA has used the funds it's collected to primarily run public relations campaigns. Campaigns such as convincing the public that going green is vital to saving the planet. Now tell that to folks in Washington state. They're being taxed for going green. Lawmakers there are edging closer to implementing the motor fuel tax, a new system that will monitor and tax drivers based on miles driven. Drivers could be charged three ways, either with a flat fee, by having odometers checked, or with an electronic device installed in cars to measure how many miles are driven. In a dizzying twist of logic, the commission and DOT blame the prevalence of fuel efficient cars as the reason the state now needs a per mile tax, arguing that the move to cleaner, smarter vehicles must be accompanied by a change in the way we pay for our roads. The incentive for states to pursue this kind of program could build as cars become more fuel efficient, and especially considering President Obama wants new vehicles to get 54 and a half miles per gallon by 2025. So as these new technologies are created to burn less gasoline and save the environment, the states are now concerned about the loss in revenue. The black boxes installed in cars are one major privacy concern because you're being constantly tracked. But there are also other ways this push for efficiency is leaving us incredibly vulnerable to hackers, advertisers, and the NSA, as well as soaring fee hikes. Smart meters are being touted as the innovative and advanced technology that will help conserve energy and, in exchange, lower energy bills. Right, because energy companies really want to help you cut into their profits so they can save Mother Earth. A recent poll revealed that about one-third of people who had smart meters installed had experienced bill increases, and one quarter of those had had bills doubled, tripled, or more. They're complete lies. Uh, it's not, the grid is not saving energy, it's using more energy, in fact. No pilot programs have been done where smart grids are saving any energy. Also, it's creating a huge hacking vulnerability. Even the former CIA director of the, of, of the United States, James Woolsey, said, you know, what we think of, what we're being told is a smart grid, is actually a really, really stupid grid. And, and in addition to that, it's, it's not giving us more control. It's actually giving the control to big corporations, to, to utilities and to governments who will be sharing in this data that is basically being extracted uh, from the home in a very, very high level of detail. Just as the global warming conspiracy theory is being pummeled with historically low temperatures, so too is the energy efficiency farce, which is proving to be just another means of taxation and control. We're here at the spot where last week four Austin police officers were needed to subdue a single female jogger. The original offense, jaywalking. She was later on arrested for the failure to identify to an officer. What happened to the Miranda right to remain silent? What happened to the Fifth Amendment? What happened to the First Amendment? The freedom of speech does not also include the freedom not to speak. Let's find out what these students have to say. Hi, right, excuse me. Hi. Right. Uh, what do you think about the jogger who got arrested out here last week? I actually think it's kind of funny because I cross the street all the time. What do you think about the jaywalker who was arrested last week? I don't know the whole story, do you? I don't know the whole story, but with what you heard, do you have any opinion? Because they say, well, she was officially arrested for failing to identify to an officer. It wasn't the jaywalking charge. But just the, the police resources, do you think it's a good use of a police resource to be out here busting uh, jaywalkers, just cracking down on jaywalking? I don't know. That's sort of like, you know, do you still beat your wife, right? You, you can't really beat your wife. You can't say whether you did or not because you'd be guilty either way. I don't necessarily agree with his uh, comparison to beating your wife. Uh, I mean, busting a jaywalker is busting a jaywalker. My thoughts are that's pretty ridiculous, but um, 
it was a white girl in a nice part of town, and if it was anybody else, it wouldn't have made the news. And if somebody gets hit from jaywalking, then that's their problem. You don't need four cops involved. Um, I think he shouldn't have got arrested, or she shouldn't have got arrested. Why is that? Because she was just crossing the street. Right. Well, you know, the official reason given for her arrest wasn't so much that she crossed the street. It was because she failed to identify to an officer. So that means she didn't show her ID? Is that the... Well, she didn't provide the Austin Police Department with as much information as they desired. I mean, are you familiar with your Miranda rights? Yes, I am familiar. With can, you, can you tell me uh, one of the Miranda rights? Uh, you have a, remi a right to remain silent. There have been contradictory reports. Uh, the police are saying that they were in the young lady's field of view when they tried to grab her. There have been other reports that saying that the officers approached her from behind. Quintero doesn't think the officer did run up beside her, like Acevedo said. I think he grabbed her slightly from behind, and it's, it may not be from far behind, but enough to where she didn't notice who was grabbing her right away. So if you were out jogging, you got your headphones in, you're a single woman alone, and somebody just grabbed you from behind, what would your reaction be? I would have kept running. Um, all I heard, I read, was that she didn't see them coming and they grabbed her from behind. Whether or not he grabbed her by behind, it doesn't matter. It's not relevant. At some point, she knows it's a cop. If somebody was to grab you from behind for any reason, what would your reaction be? Um, definitely do exactly what she did, you know, kick right. their ass. <laughs> uh, excuse me, miss. You were jaywalking there for a second? Yeah, no class. I'm sorry. Okay, so she has to go to class, and that's a good reason to jaywalk. Uh, I just want you to know you get arrested by the Austin Police Department. And let me ask you about some comments that the police chief made. Yeah. He said that, you know, the big controversy of last week was that a jogger was arrested, you know, for failing to identify. He says, in comparison, in other cities, you have officers who are actually sexually assaulting people. So does that concern you at all, that the bar has been set kind of low? He, he, he later came back and, you know, took back those comments. But do you think that's a good place to set the bar? No, you should... <laughs> This has nothing to do with sexual assault. You can't compare that. Now, he has later come back and rescinded those comments, but do you think that's kind of a bad place to set your bar, your standard, that at least we're not out here raping people? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's totally uncalled for. I can't believe they would say something like that. That's ridiculous. I think that's an awful comparison. I mean, that's not a good standard. In other cities, cops are actually committing sexual assaults on duty. So I thank God that this is what passes for a controversy in Austin, Texas. Be careful, because they're rolling... They hating. They're trying to catch you walking dirty. I know. As I jaywalk across the street, I can't help but think about the Austin Police Department. The Austin Police Department, who will shoot an unarmed man in the back, even though he doesn't match the description of a bank robbery suspect. About the Austin Police Department, who will show up to the wrong address, shoot your dog, and shrug their shoulders, and walk off as if nothing happened. Wouldn't these efforts, these police resources, be better served down at City Hall demanding that fluoride be taken out of the water or demanding that GMO be taken out of food or arresting the bankers who devalue our currency every day? So if you come to the city of Austin, Texas, and you find yourself arrested, the situation initiating from a jaywalking response, you can rest assured that the bar has been set high. At least you're not being raped by the police. I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News. Oh, hi. Hi. You ladies are all jaywalking right now. Uh, did you hear about the, the woman who got arrested last week? Her initiation uh, was a jaywalking incident? No. You didn't hear that? No. Well, you better be safe because uh, they're out here rolling. The rollers are, they'll try to get you. All right. So be safe. Be safe. All right. And don't let anybody grab you from behind. No, they like doing that as well. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.